How to Calm a Crying Baby. There's nothing more heart-wrenching and, let's face it, sometimes nerve-wracking than a wailing infant. Here are a few ways to soothe your sweet little crybaby. You will need a crying baby and as much patience as you can muster. Optional, a bottle for the baby, a pacifier, music or noise that's soothing to your baby like humming or a vacuum cleaner, an exercise ball, a warm bath, and a baby toy. No matter how frustrated you get, never, ever shake a crying baby. Just a few seconds of jostling can cause serious brain damage. If you can't take any more, put the baby down in a safe place, leave the room, and let her scream while you calm yourself down. Step one, check all the obvious reasons the baby might be crying. In babies under three months old, crying is almost always a sign of physical need. She may be hungry or gassy or wet or hot or just plain uncomfortable. So offer a breast or bottle, burp her, check her diaper, make sure her clothes aren't pinching, and so on. Step two, offer the baby a pacifier, help her find her thumb, or slip your own clean pinky into her mouth, nail side down. Step three, make some soothing noises. Sing, hum, or gently shush her. Some babies may also be calmed by the sound of a running faucet, a radio set on static, a recording of nature sounds or white noise, even the steady hum of the vacuum cleaner. Step four, try movement. Take her outside for a walk or a car ride, gently dance with her in your arms or a sling, rock her side to side, or just walk around the room. If you just can't make another lap around the room, try sitting on an exercise ball and gently bouncing while holding your baby. Step five, try massaging her or putting her in a warm, soothing bath. For babies who become invigorated by a massage or bath, it's best not to use these methods to try to soothe them while crying. Step six, change the scenery. Give her something new to look at by turning on the ceiling fan or showing her a toy. And remember to stay calm and patient. After all, she can't cry forever. Did you know the average newborn cries two hours per day? An infant who cries inconsolably at least three hours a day for at least three days a week probably has colic and will outgrow it by three months.